Hey everybody, welcome back to Cumberlatcha and Greg's Cumberlatcha Kitchen. Today is the first day you guys get to see the full setup of my new layout in the mini cabin we have here. Have a nice new bench here for us to work on. Have a full counter over here. The kitchen's still the same as you guys have always seen back here. And then we've got the uh, Berkey, I always forget what it's called, the Berkey water filter that I put my Jesus water in that y'all have seen me get enough of. And what we did is basically we took out the wall over here in the cabin and or in the camper and added on another room. So we actually have a little living room here with a day bed over there, front door in the front, TV and a fireplace. Got that all set up. We did move the refrigerator over because we didn't need to use that door anymore to get out of the camper. And we do have a small pantry here, so I now have a little bit more storage space. But if you guys was over on Cumberlatcha Homestead channel, you saw us cleaning up the garden i give you a little garden tour and picked all my peas and got you know the final picking of them and i just blanched them off they're ready to go and i thought i'd just go ahead and make a pea salad out of that for y'all it's real simple as you can see it's got about six ingredients and that's all there is i've already got about four cups of the peas in here and they're nice bright green because i just blanched them when you get fresh peas, it's a really good idea to do that. It's just blanching, just putting them in boiling water for two or three minutes. Bright, hold the color if you take them out and put them immediately into an ice bath. And that's why they're a little cold right now because I had them in ice water. But it keeps them nice and bright green. So we're going to use the green onions, peas, about a cup and a half of uh, cheddar cheese that I shredded, about six or seven strips of bacon. I made breakfast this morning and I made a little bit of extra bacon, so we got that crumbled up and there was about six or seven maybe there's four or five now because i've been eating them all day and some mayonnaise or miracle whip whichever you'd like and sugar and a little bit of salt so to the uh um, peas i'm just going to chop up or dice up a little bit of this onion i'm not going to use the greens i'm going to save the greens because i'm going to be making cornbread and beans this week and i like to have the greens in my cornbread and beans so I'm just going to take it to there. We'll set those aside. And I'm going to give them a little bit more chop here just to make them a little bit smaller. Whoops. And one onion on the floor. Brody's probably going to get that, which I'll try to get it before he does. He's over there sleeping. Speaking of Brody, about two weeks, three weeks ago, we were outside and he came in. Anytime he comes in, he always gets a treat. And that's before we had the wood floor down. And he slid on the wood floor and hurt his hip a little bit. Now remember, he's 15 years old. So I took him to the vet. And she checked him out. She sits down on the floor with him. She couldn't believe he was 15 years old. But he was, you know, real weak and trying not to walk because he was in so much pain. And she goes, is he always like this, this, you know, active? And I'm like, this isn't active. This is nothing. So while she's on the floor checking him out, I said, well, here, let me show you a video that I did a couple of weeks ago of him. And I showed her, and I'll show you this video right here. He was running back to the cabin from going back and seeing the quail. And she just looked at me and she was, okay, he shouldn't be doing that. But how is he in the winter with his arthritis? And I said, he didn't really have any problem at all in the winter. So I showed her this video of him playing in the snow. And she just sat there and shook her head and she looked up at me and she was, Mr. Greg, your dog is broken. And I panicked because she was feeling his back legs in. I thought maybe he had a broken hip or broken leg. I said, what do you mean broken? A broken leg? And she goes, no, he's broken. She goes, from here up, he's two years old. But from here down, he's as old as you are. And he should not be doing that. So they now have him on arthritis medicine, some pain medicine. He's still trying to run and jump. She told me I need to put him on a leash when I take him out. And I try to. But it doesn't work very often, so. Okay, let me add the cheese in here. Got a cup and a half of cheese, so Brody's over there taking it easy. He gets a little spaced out when I give him some of his medicine. The other, the pain medicine, he just thinks he's two years old again. He takes off. So there's our bacon, our cheese, our peas, and our onion. I'm going to set this stuff over here aside. And I'm going to get something to stir with, because first I need about a cup and a half of mayo out or Miracle Whip, whatever you like. And you may, it just depending on temperature outside, humidity, the peas, if you let them sit and dry after you blanched them. I didn't really let mine sit too long. So there may be a little bit of moisture in there. So it just depends on that. 
how much you're going to need. But you can adjust to taste how creamy you like yours. And then we'll get about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Mm, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Get this stuff out of the way. And I'm not sure that, no, this spatula's not going to do it. We're going to need a wooden spoon. So let's get a wooden spoon out here. Clean this off. I remember growing up, Mom made this all the time in the summer. Usually had a bowl of it in the refrigerator. But she didn't use shredded cheese. I think she literally took chunks of cheese and diced it in small chunks. Because I remember having chunky cheese in there. But I like to shred it. Because it's easier. Let me get this in. Like I said, you may need a little bit more mayonnaise. And I think I'm going to. Yep, we got overboard onion. Yeah, let me get a little bit more mayonnaise in here. Looks like they're going to need another jar. I'm trying to be gentle because I don't want to crush my peas. I just grew these things. It's the first, first things out of my garden this year except for herbs. And I've got herbs over in the window over there dehydrating and drying out. Made the camper smell really good the first couple days. Yeah, I'm going to need just a little bit more. I think I had more than four cups of peas in there. That was my problem. I underestimated. Yeah, it's a little creamier. And you can serve this this great with a barbecue. You know, fried chicken, broiled chicken, anything. Just a nice, cool summer salad and my bacon and my onions are popping out there but my hands off and you know how we like our summer salads this is even be good with the tomato sandwich i just had one of those the other day so there we go just that quick we have a nice little pea salad let me get my spatula and clean that off And you know I'm going to reach down here and get my dried herbs that mom did. Because we've got to make it pretty. Mine are just starting to come on and I'm starting to dry them. There you go. And we're not going to miss tasting this. Just checking for seasoning. Mm, that's perfect just a sweet enough sweetness from the sugar now if you're using miracle whip let me empty my mouth that was rude if you're using miracle whip you may not want to use as much sugar because miracle whip unlike mayonnaise has sugar in it and some seasonings mayonnaise does not have the sugar so if you're using mayonnaise a little bit more sugar if you're using miracle whip just a little bit less just do it according to your taste so wanted to show you guys what i did with our i got parsley all over me show you what we did with the peas that we picked the rest are dehydrating and i'm gonna try to um, pull some videos together showing you how i did that and then i just have about a cup left in here i'm thinking i'm gonna throw them in a dish this week but this is an easy summer salad you can put together i appreciate you all joining us up here don't forget to go over to cumberlatcha homestead and get a tour of the entire garden how it looks right now this is the first week of june and i'll keep updating you as we go and you can see what the peas look like as i was pulling them off the vine but y'all take care. God bless and I love you. Bye-bye.